everyone, welcome to Gallup Gardens. We're gonna do a long overdue garden tour today. So where we're gonna start is with our very lush herb garden. We've got lots of stuff over here. We've got catnip, um, chamomile, stuff for your teas, your flat leaves and your curly leaf parsley's, uh, sage, lots of good stuff. Um, we're just trying to so also we've got our English time and we've got our creeping time we've got our cilantro which the cat loves to sleep in look at her she's big pregnant uh, oregano as self-sufficient me calls it so we got a little bit of oregano and it's already bolting which we thought was kind of strange a little bit of dill a little bit of marshmallow some stevia. Is that marshmallow? Did I just lie? Sorry, that's licorice, not marshmallow. A little bit of basil, thyme. All kinds of good stuff. We've also got our babies here. If you were watching from a couple of months ago, and these guys are getting really nice. We really want to put them in the raised beds, but it's going to get down into the high 30s by the end of this week. So we're going to just give it a little more time. Um, these tomatillos are very interesting. They got a really interesting leaf shape. I thought they would look more like tomatoes. And then we got, you know, some peppers. Um, this here is mostly peppers. Chinese five star, some purple, some black peppers, some beautiful ones. And then we've got some Russian purple tomatoes and some black tomatoes and just all different kinds of colors. And then these are just some good old hybrids. Uh, we got some Romas, some salsa Romas, some beef steaks, you know, some good stuff. Come on around over here. Let's show y'all the strawberry beds and the asparagus. We've also got some mums coming up, chrysanthemums, and they're looking beautiful. And this is my son's mint slash catnip bed and our cut flowers which haven't been planted yet and this is our strawberry bed and if you remember I did a previous video on planting your asparagus and if you look here like here's a little guy and there's two and then here's one that's a little bit bigger oh. Let's take it to the backyard where we can kind of show you what's going on oh, yeah. with the raised beds. Here is, real quick, mint and black lilies. They haven't bloomed yet, but they're starting. And they're absolutely gorgeous. So I think it's our third year with those. Um, it's a little workout area. And the trellis tunnel. It's going to be really, really cool this year. Got a new bed planned. We haven't put it in yet. We just finished mulching. And it's gonna look, uh, you know, pretty similar to this guy. You ready? Okay. In this bed we've got potatoes that are really taking off and a lot of our onions. We'll kind of see how they do now that the potatoes are really starting to come through. Um, but these are just your, your yellow onions. Back in here, we planted some sweet potatoes. They haven't sprouted yet, but they do climb. So that's why the trellis is here for those. In this bed, we've got radish, beets, carrots, and one of our free seeds from Baker Creek was the clovey? Clovey? Clovey something? Probably saying that wrong. You can comment down below on how you really pronounce that. But I'm excited to try it since it was something free that they sent to us. Over here we've got three little collard green plants. We love greens. We just picked them up at the store. And they're doing really well, so... <laughs> oh, the sun. Mm -hmm. The sun. Here we've kind of got our little grow bag experiments. 
don't mind the train. We've got a bell pepper, some carrots. That's a pecan I pulled up today. And a pecan because <laughs> I was like, oh, that's new. <laughs> and we're just kind of seeing how they're doing in the grow bags. We plan to transplant a lot of our peppers into the grow bag so that way we can overwinter them uh, down in the basement. I don't know if you guys remember, but here in Oklahoma, we had a crazy winter. We had about a foot of snow and temperatures well below freezing for several days in a row. So we kind of showed you our broccoli patch that was in the asparagus pit and covering them and hoping that they were sur would survive. Either a cat or a raccoon got into them and so most of them didn't make it. But we proudly have one broccoli head right now that has survived and it's really taking off and we're super excited um, to just watch it grow, see if maybe this one will make it. Um, it hasn't produced ahead yet but it's growing um, we have our Brussels sprouts that have just gotten huge so we're hopeful to see what they produce we're gonna start stocking them um, so that way they can grow up and we've got two cauliflowers and one little cabbage in here that made it through the winter as well and we transplanted it before the Brussels sprouts got huge so we'll see if it does anything Either. Here in the back is my very overgrown greens bed. We've harvested several salads out of this. Um, we have a little video on our Instagram page, which is a gallop underscore gardens, something like that. We'll link it down below um, where I showed you the best way to harvest your salad greens. So go check that out. Um, so you can have fresh garden salads all throughout the season. So we've got our arugulas, some extra onions, kale, uh, butter crunch lettuce, and a purple romaine. So this has been awesome. This is the first year that we've done salad greens. I love salad, so it's been really awesome to be able to come out here, harvest a salad for dinner or for lunch, and it just continues to All right, guys, this is the, uh, the final part of a little garden tour. Um, Compost is the foundation to your soil, to organic gardening, to home gardening, urban agriculture, all that kind of stuff. Um, so here, you know, we've got our leaf mold going. We've been gathering and gathering and gathering leaves all fall, all winter. Madison has called me the leaf thief and made fun of me <laughs> for my obsession with leaves. And I don't think we're going to have enough. Uh, this is our first mow. It was just the front yard. <laughs> But if you come on in here, I'll show you and show you what's going on in here because it is looking pretty good. I don't know if y'all can, you can't really see the steam, but you put your hand in there and it's, oh yeah, it's like 100, 140 degrees, something like that. It's just really, really cooking, really doing good. Um, super easy, guys. You just mix your grass clippings. A uh, two to one ratio, you want two parts of your brown, one part of your green, hit it with the mower, mix it up, throw it in there, hit it with a little bit of water, and you just let it do its thing. Right. Uh, this is our pretty much our finished product over here. We need to uh, shake it again, turn it right on through the bay. And if you look at this, I mean, it's just, it's just black gold. It's, it's gorgeous. You might say to yourself, well, there's a lot of chunks in there, Cole. Well, yeah, that's humus that holds moisture. And that's exactly what you want. Um, it's doing so good. we got some volunteers going. Got a little pumpkin growing in here. I'm going to move him pretty soon as soon as we plant the corn. And then these guys are our uh, morning glories coming up. So we'll put those out, pull those out, move them along the sides here. So it looks real pretty. And then this is our stage three, our final, final product. And it's almost all completely done. Um, but if you look at that, I mean, that's, that's beautiful stuff right there. So, it all begins and ends with compost. So guys, if you like our video, if you like what we do, or where we're going with this, I know it's, it's still pretty early in the process, it's early April. 
it isn't even our frost date yet for our last frost date but stay with us stick with us through the summer it's gonna be amazing or it's gonna be a jungle you know which would probably be amazing yeah <laughs> uh, so you know like and subscribe check it out <laughs>